Hi, Ben. Thanks for joining me um, to discuss your map that is related to the recent reappraisal by the city. It looks like the city did estimate the fair market value of all properties in Burlington. And the last time it was done, it was in 2005. Yeah, and, and I can just to give a quick um, background on it. At the end of one of my work days, um, uh, you know, I'm a PhD student at the University of Vermont. I'm working on various things and I, I check my email near the end of the day and Front Porch Forum comes up and I'm a very avid reader of Front Porch Forum. And I've been seeing over the last couple of days, a lot of different people who are very concerned about the reappraisal process. And so um, one of them said, I would love to see a map procrastinating a little bit for about an hour and a half to make a little a little tool to, to help folks um, visualize. I need you to let me share my screen. So I, I linked two different uh, data sets and that's a, you know, just a pretty common thing to do. And, and so I started with uh, the, the city had just a spreadsheet uh, on their website. I can bring up the URL or you can, uh, we can share that in a, in a moment. And then I linked that with the, uh, uh, Vermont, uh, the state of Vermont has a, a data set that is a map of every parcel in the state of Vermont. And so I obviously only needed the ones in Burlington, so I, I filtered them them down and then I just linked the records between those those two. Um, and so the the uh, and so I used that also to create a percent increase in assessment uh, value for each one and then made this this little uh, pretty simple interactive map that allows you to, uh, so you can see right here, the color bar, just purple to, to yellow, um, yellow yeah. being highest. And it's a little bit uh, truncated because there are some properties that are that are below zero and are some properties that are much higher than 200%. One of the limitations of this is I don't have, from this data set, I can't tell the difference between somewhere where the property assessment went up because a new building was built there. I believe, you know, down at Cambrian Rise, the assess assessment on some of those parcels went up by a lot because they built an enormous apartment building. So one, one of the big concerns that motivated this map or that people were, were talking about was the question of whether assessments were rising more in the Old North End than in other parts of town. There are a lot of people who are concerned, uh, who feel like the Old North End is a little bit of a, a gentrification front. Right, that, that housing prices might be increasing faster and that, that people feel a little bit squeezed and like they might be be pushed out. So that's one of the reasons why people were were asking for this. Um, and and you can see here we are in the old North End. Um, and there are a few properties that have, have increased, increased in lot and value, but if we reset, it doesn't seem to be a huge, there's no big color trend around the city. The one big thing, I mean, it's it's, probably the biggest parcel on this map is the um, the Burlington Country Club. And it is one of the few properties that actually, uh, if you look at the um, percent change, it's it actually decreased in its assessment. And that's a, an interesting, uh, so I'm, I'm just not not sure why that happened. And, and that is um, certainly a, a very interesting thing because it's a very, I remember somebody had a a piece about this, or I, I was in a conversation with somebody about how, um, you know, there's a property across the street from the country club that's, you know, 120th or 130th the size of it that's assessed at only a quarter of the value or something like that because it's, you know, it's not zoned to build a bunch of houses on. Um, and that gets reflected in its assessment. And that's certainly, um, it's interesting to have somebody pay a lot more money for. A quarter acre of yard, um, proportionally than than a the country club might pay. I don't know how large that parcel is, but it's you know dozens and dozens of acres. But the the person who lives across the street who has a small yard is paying much more per square foot in property taxes. One of the cool things about this is um, basically anybody else who knows how to uh, write computer code in the programming language Python, which is one of the most popular ones. It's one of the easiest to learn. It's the one I know because it's one of the easiest to learn. Um, can actually uh, just download all the all the work that I have and could take this figure and 
and make their own version of it. They could could figure out how to make it a little bit easier to see, or they could add features or whatnot, um, just by uh, it's what I have is uh, publicly posted uh, on the web. Yeah, tell me a little bit about, so you created this in a tool called Bokeh, is it correct? Yeah, I believe that's how you uh, pronounce it. Um, it's a, uh, well, it's, it's a, um, it's a programming li or a, a, a library or a package that you use within the, the language Python to uh, create these kind of things. Um, and it, it creates it as a little, um, basically portable file such that I can just send this, this, this little file to anybody and they can open it on their computer and, and do all, all these things or also uh, interact with the, um, with the, the figure in all the way, uh, in all the functionalities that I put into it, uh, just on there, it just, it moves around and all those functionalities uh, stay with it. But like I said before, um, the, the code for this is available on uh, this web, web, website, GitHub, where millions of people around the world will just share their different programming uh, projects. So anybody, if anybody knows any Python who's listen, watching this, uh, or if anybody has a, has a kid who's into programming, they can just uh, come and, and look at it. I can uh, provide that link. And basically, you have a bunch of sort of functions that help to uh, construct the data. There's um, I merged together the two different data sources, which are the spreadsheet from the city and this set of these are the parcels. And then you have a little bit of, of code that just um, kind of builds this figure. Um, and then it just gets saved as a little file. And it's, uh, like I said, it, it doesn't mean anything to anybody who hasn't, um, uh, who, who has never done any computer programming before, but it's among people who, who have, it's fairly simple and it's hopeful, hopefully, hopefully easy to understand. The thing about um, computer code is sometimes when you uh, don't understand it, it's because somebody else actually wrote it poorly. <laughs> well, thanks, Ben. Um, super helpful. Good to meet you and um, appreciate you, you taking too. the time to chat with us. Thanks.